no background in, in, in logic at all. I've programmed CNC machines and G-code for 10 years. Uh, it's just kind of X, Y, and Z positional sp spatial stuff. And so I didn't really get the logic. Uh, did a little reading and, and it's pretty simple. And there's a lot of help on the, on the forums between UR and Robotique. Programming examples. This is really easy. Uh, you have two ways of teaching it. Either you take your part and you set it on the surface which you want to pick from and you take four snapshots of it in four different orientations and it is taught. Or if it's something simple like a rectangle or a circular blank, uh, you just tell it the dimensions of the, what you're picking and it knows. We're just going to take and put maybe 15 or 17 parts just kind of strewn out where we think the field of view is. Uh, the camera will, or the robot's going to rotate and look over the table, take one snapshot and see all the parts. Then for more accurate picking, it's going to get closer and take another snapshot of one of those parts that it wants to pick. Uh, it'll reach down, pick it, rotate, and set it in the, in the automatic vise over here. And then it sends a signal to the, uh, to the Haas CNC machine. And essentially, it's pressing the cycle start button electronically, just like we would. We didn't have to even teach pick points because it already knew to look on this table for parts. Uh, so you don't need a conveyor, you don't need any type of special fixturing. You know, so when I change parts, I'll just tell it I'm looking for a different part. That's simple. There's not a lot of changeover, so that's why the camera. Anytime I wanted to change diameters of parts or change parts, we'd had to machine new grippers and this you just tell it to close. And it goes from the maximum to, the, to whatever you're closing upon.